This is our seventh bar, Baruch Hashem Marosh, and we're today we're starting with Simon Nin Gimel. Um, sometimes a bit short day because it's Erev Shabbos, but uh, I wanted to uh, fulfill my uh, obligation of Asiri Yakodesh to every ten days uh, try and do some Baruch Hashem and eventually we'll finish Baruch Hashem. Yes, Hashem some other most are more pertaining to Asiri Yakodesh. Nun Gimel. So, you're not supposed to be uh, um, lazy or uh, uh, not not uh, not uh, azores. This rashus is the opposite of zrizus. And doing mitzvos, if one comes to your hand, one doesn't necessarily have to seek out mitzvos. Sometimes it's good to seek out mitzvos. Sometimes one has a uh, uh, another mitzvah to do, but if a mitzvah comes to your hand, it's mamish bobayat. It's right next to you, so you should you should do it. Put the shem shemayim b'yichu. Fascinating idea. In other words, don't delay, but it has to be the shem shemayim. These sometimes are two different things because sometimes you do a mitzvah because the mitzvah came to your hand without considering if this is the proper time to do the mitzvah, or does some is there a requirement to do something else first? Let's say, like today, Arab Shabbos, uh, my wife asked me to help out with a couple of things. And uh, instead of going to do this mitzvah of giving the shear earlier in the day, which would have afforded me more time to perhaps do accomplish more, but that's that would not be L'Shem Shamayim. To push uh, the, 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 the L'Shem Shamayim, the Cheshman is that Arab Shabbos afternoon, you have to help. And then that's priority over doing something below Ichor. So therefore, the Shem Shemayim and below Ichor are not necessarily the same thing. When it's the Shem Shemayim do below Ichor, then do below Ichor. When it's the Shem Shemayim to be wait, even though it's Bal Yodcha, you have to wait. Nun Dalit. Al Tisat Sel Bebircha Salavana. Shlo Zohi Salak Bebnei Echol Shechina Bechol Chodesh Dayon. So Kiddush Labana, obviously, when I'm making this, when I'm making this shear, it is right after a heavy snowfall. In um, Muncie, I mean, it was Shabbos afternoon. So, Matsuri Shabbos, which will be probably, I think, the first night of the year, might be too early this week, this this month. But it is, it is, hey, hey, base. Everything depends on uh, the moon. So, in any event, um, there's obviously a time when the cold is intense, and the same is at least soil. But uh, obviously, the, the point is that you can't be. Uh, can be uh, lazy, even though Kiddush Lubana requires a bit of a serious nefesh. Um, and I want to point out something interesting, which is that Kiddush Lubana, you would think would be a Mesechus Brachos, but it's not a Mesechus Brachos. Kiddush Lubana is a Mesechus Sanhedrin, as we discussed. I forget what, at the end of one of the Prokim, the later Prokim, um, seventh, uh, sixth, seventh, eighth Prokim, I forget which one. But the question is, why is the not in Brachos, why is it in Sanhedrin? So, the, obviously, the partial reason is because the uh, the Kiddush of Chodesh was a function of Sanhedrin, and therefore the Kiddush Lubana, which is a vestige of the uh, uh, the uh, Kiddush Chodesh. In fact, um, the um, uh, the uh, the idea of uh, having uh, saying Shalom Aleichem three times. The three of the three people is reminiscent of the base tin coming together, and that's why the three people. Uh, the, uh, so there, that's why it's in Sanhedrin. But there's probably a deeper reason as why it's Sanhedrin. So it says and Yagarita is in the Shach to the the Masechta, which is we find it. Probably there's not only partially Yagarita, but uh, nevertheless, I think that the uh, idea of Kirsh Lavana is that. Just like a Sanhedrin re- represents Amiso, I should say Amiso to Kosh Baruch and Kosh Baruch to Amiso. So there's a relationship because Asisa Pi Asher Yerucha. So Amiso is to, uh, likened to uh, Amiso's focus on a Kosh Baruch Hu comes from the, through the Sanhedrin, and of course through our uh, discipline through the Sanhedrin we also uh, focus on a Kosh Baruch Hu. That way, and all the things that Hedra commands us to do, has commanded us to do, everything which is still relevant still to today. So, um, Kiddush Lavana is a, 
was kind of like an extension of that relationship which um, we had with Akash Baruch Hu, uh, in terms of uh, the Sanhedrin. And again, the three people in the, which come together represent a based in. Uh, the idea is that the, the flow which comes f f through the Kiddush Levana is a flow which is akin to that which came to the Sanhedrin. And the Sanhedrin sitting in Lushka Salgazi had a special higher connection which made them the Shikma Bamala, the highest authority in the land. And it's not Nabua, but it's uh, like Chacham Ali bin Navi, as one of the of Basra. And so too with Kiddush Levana, we're tapping into a higher level of Hashra, higher level of uh, uh, connection to Kiddush Baruch Hu. And uh, that's why it's called Lahak Bil Pinei Shechina. Right? It's called Lahak Bil Pinei Levana. Lahak Bil Pinei Shechina. It's called Lahak Bil Pinei Shechina. You know, Shechina is Shore among the Dayonim, right? And Shechina is Shore us at the time of Kiddush Levana. So the, it's certainly important to make during Kiddush Levana to try and be Mechabel the Shechina, Kabbalah's Pani, but also Kabbalah of the Shefa for the coming month. And uh, again, it's even to make me soil, that's why this is a difficult thing to do, nevertheless. Nun uh, hey. Don't do something which the, the, the creatures will scoff at. The, they, nor, they normally conceal your good points and reveal your bad points. So this is an interesting thing. Uh, uh, obviously we say, and uh, a person has to be careful that he does things which are not tamul a rabbit which are not astonishing to the masses. And a dover tamul a is considered to be something which one is supposed to avoid. Even though one could say uh, the person should be a head that's when push comes to shove, you have no choice. You have no choice but to do it, then it's better to be called the head in the eyes of people. But obviously we're put here for a Kiddush Hashem. It's a support of Kiddush Hashem, so therefore, Nine times out of ten, if not ninety-nine of a hundred, one should be careful. One should maintain the uh, the dignity and the stature of a uh, uh, representative of a Kodesh Baruch ambassador of Hashem in the world, and therefore the a person has to take into account not only what people think, but the fact that people will exaggerate. That's no less important. So remember that you have to go doubly over to the side of making, doing things which are not going to make people scoff at you because they're going to have a tendency, a drive to scoff at you. So you have to be double safeguarded. Nun vav, al takle abicho vi mecho, al Do not uh, 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 taunt, uh, really means that uh, uh, to uh, make them light uh, the, your father and mother, you have to, uh, and don't cause them anguish, as long as you have a father and mother. So obviously, Kibir of Aim is imperative, uh, but it's not It's not just that Kibir of Aim is doing things to be Mechabedem, but it means that they have, they have to be special in your eyes. And this is a depressing thought, but Rukhan Shulevitz says, he says that the Iker of Kibir of Aim is to find the aspect in which your parent is the God of Hador, and their personality and their contribution, and that's a, a very tough thing. And love called It's very hard even to grasp, even much less to put into practice. But that's alta clear. You have to be. They have to be weighty, significant in your eyes. And then, of course, al tsarusa means even if you're not trying to be mitzar them, you have to bend over backwards that they should have tsar. And that's a very difficult thing to do as well. Um, um, your face should not be severe or um, stern opposite people passers by but rather you should, your face should be illuminated at them so it's not talking about you know it talks 
Besimcha or Besimcha Pariyafos, but there it's Mekano. You're receiving them. You're interacting with them. Here it's even if you're in public area and they're over in the shop, they're passers by. You're your passer by. As he said, the name of Rabbi Sos Lanter, person's face is a shoe so rabbi. The over the over in the are passing over your face. So therefore your face has to be one which is uh mayor punning to them in order that they should perceive something which A gives them simcha because if you smile at somebody they it gives them a sense of happiness. And B that again you're an ambassador. You have to make sure to represent the Kosh Baruch Hu. and the represent the Kosh Baruch Hu means Panim Meirim. That's not just a uh, not not just a uh, uh, neutral face, certainly not a stern face, but something which is illuminating. Illuminating indicates that there is a connection with the Kosh which we represent in the world. Nunches al tishkach v'nikla hem tzeda asosem levaya u'tenachmeim bidvarim. So it's not. It seems like it's going on the opening b'shavim, and it's saying don't make make sure to give them supplies if they need them. And to accompany them if they need that, and to console them in wicked words. In other words, people's people have hard lives. People appreciate chesed, and that, doing chesed is emulating Kodesh Baruch Hu, making yourself a good person. So therefore, even passers by, amazing. You have to see if you can perceive that they need say the derech, they need to have levaya, and certainly if they look like they need a nechama of some sort. You should take it upon yourself. And it's a, this is a very high madrega because most of us try to pay no attention, if, it, if possible, to over the shavin. But the Rosh is saying that you have to pay attention and do for them what is right and good for them. Nuntes, uh, Alamishetachdecha. Don't put, direct your eyes at somebody who is richer than you, but somebody who is poorer than you. In other words, the tendency of a person is always to try and climb the ladder, the social uh, upward mobility. And that means always looking at the guy ahead of me, on top of the ladder, trying to reach up to him. The, 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 the Raj says the opposite. You have to look at the person who's lower down the ladder and help him out. So obviously, the point is that you're trying to help the person as opposed to aspire to be like the person. Aspiration is the one thing. Helping is what it's all about. Yeah, so this is a great example right now of Nun uh, Gimel. I have to mitzvahs in Baliyadcha. Somebody just called me and I know that uh, somebody who, uh, for whatever reason, really wants to speak to me. So therefore, I have to speak to him. And I'm going to proud now my wife is calling me. So we'll set to end this today here and uh, take a take up here to shame 10 days from um, uh, from uh, Samach. But that's a powerful thing. Always look down to help the person below you, not up to emulate the person above you. We're talking about not uh, in Mili de Shmaya. In Mili de Shmaya, yes, should look to aspire. But Mili de Alma, look down to help.